On our fourth day at Tropic Star Lodge, we got on the boat with Captain Richard White, the fishing director of the lodge. We caught our bait and then we headed offshore searching for a giant black marlin. What is this? What is this? What is this right here? I think it's a big Dorado, dude. Got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Here we go. He's got it. He's got it. If he's jumping, you got him. Yeah, we got him. We got him. That's a big dolphin. Oh, that's a big dolphin, dude. Woo! When you're fishing for black marlin, you don't stop for Dorado, because that is the best teaser ever. So we will just get to drive around now while Josh gets to bring in the world's biggest teaser. <laughs> that's a 40-pounder, dude. Yeah. That's a nice fish. That's a really nice dolphin. Teaser, teaser. It's a really nice dolphin, man. My gosh. We've decided that we're going to tag this fish and release it. 99.99% of fishermen would never do that. They would 100% they would gaff this fish. Whoa! Nice. Ride him, cowboy! <laughs> Run, okay, there you go. Ryan's got to get in to tag that thing. Yeah, right in the corner of the mouth there. Nice. Yeah. There's a big hole. It's in, okay? Let's grab him. Ready? Pick him up. Yeah. Woo! Look at Beautiful. that, guys. Tag Beautiful Dorado. Look at the tag in him. Quick, back in the water, back in the water. There he goes. That's definitely a dolphin if I hooked that in Florida. Would be dinner. You're not releasing but that But here, one, huh? research. Here, that'll show us where they go. Yeah. Give a much better idea of what these dolphin fish are doing out here. So you know what I, baby, let's get another one. But this time, let's make it a black with a big sword on its face. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're just amazing fighters, those Dorado, dude. For a sport fish, they're just, oh, yeah. I, the, I love them. They'll knock the snots out of any sailfish. That's, oh, they're 100 yeah. times stronger than a tail, yeah. dude. Yeah. Good <laughs> job, brother. Good job. That's a big base. That's going right behind the boats. I've noticed these black marlin are not easy to catch. They're really <laughs> finicky and kind of annoying. Like they're like cobia. Yes, yeah. <laughs> they will follow a bait for 15 minutes and swim away. And you know what? The thing about the black marlin is it's only found in the Pacific and Indian Ocean. Yeah. And even then, you'll find blues all throughout the tropics and subtropical waters. Blacks, even in those waters, are only in very few areas. Yeah. So, I mean, even here between Costa Rica and Panama, this is one of the world's hottest spots to actually get them. It's also the only place in the world you can catch a black every month of the year. Really? Yeah. So it doesn't mean they're here in big numbers, but you do get them every month of the year. But the months that we get the most here, January, February, yeah, yeah. and that is because the Humboldt's current is going, flowing from the south to the north, and the wind comes opposite it. So what that does is it folds over all the nutrients and sends it going on the surface back down. And so we'll get all the whale sharks, you get all the manta rays coming through, and as that process is happening, so all the blacks come tailing down the ocean. I did that. see them tailing yesterday, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it is really cool when you can see them tailing, and you kind of, it's like kind of sight fishing for black marlin. You go in front of it and yeah. present a bait to it. And then if you're lucky, she turns the lights on. Yeah, or she just looks at you or and goes, you. see you later. <laughs> nice knowing you. Yes, they do, they do do that. So. Uh, it's, it's definitely not as easy as catching the rest of the bullfish family. Um, but she is the biggest one. In the IGFO world record book, she's still bigger than a blue marlin. Do you guys have an official count on how many black marlin have been caught and released at Tropic Star? We don't have an official count. Um, we do have records for the past 20 years. And then we count every raise and all the releases. And then we do give that to all the scientific research population. Yeah. So, including Ryan, who's doing all of his research on these apex predators, and then the Smithsonian, Gar Harvey Ocean Foundation. So, any of the scientific people who would like those numbers, we definitely do provide them. That's awesome. And that's just because there's not many records out there of official numbers of these of these fish, because there's only really three black marlin fisheries in the world. It's the Great Barrier Reef of Australia. It's the east coast of Africa, yeah. Mozambique, and northern South Africa and here at Tropic Star Lodge. We got our two black marlin baits out and we just sent one down on the downrigger. We got a bonita down there, 80 feet down on Zangue Reef. Going down. 
Could be a marlin. I need the harness. I need the harness. Definitely a shark. Ooh. When you're fighting a fish in a stand-up harness, you don't want to lose your balance, right? So I fish lighter drag than I, than I would if I wasn't. But I hold I hold the spool like this right here. So if he runs, I can let go. I'm not gonna lose my balance. But if he's not running like right now, I put my body weight into it. Crank. This is significantly bigger than the other one. Not even comparable. Neutral. We're at the bimini. Nice and slow. Oh my gosh. Cute. Wait, 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 wait. I see, that's a big black tip, so we just, we gotta play it slowly, that's all. Things two, almost 200 pounds, I'd say. Mean, dude. Woo. Ah, no, it came off? Yeah, Broke. it snapped. Dang it. Uh, Sorry, guys, geez. but that yeah. thing was a beast. Yeah, you know, I tell people, if, if a black tip got as big as a bull shark, they'd be almost uncatchable. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that's a really powerful animal. Yeah. 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 Pound for pound, it's unreal how strong they are. Yeah. A little 90 pounder, I've had them straighten out the eyes of a 500 pound swivel. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, oh, very few fish can do that. Taking a lot of line. Pulled really fast. Haven't seen it yet. Go forward a little bit so I can get tight on her. Just, just bumping the gear a little bit. Just forward a little bit. Be a big black for us. Be a big black. Oh, we are so tight right now, it's unreal. Could be a big tuna, you think? No way. I think it's a shark. My money would also be shark right now. Just based off of this alone. That felt sharky right there. That looked sharky. Yeah. The black tips. Stole the black marlin shoulder today. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> neutral, neutral. I'm gonna lead to the shark this time. He didn't like that. Did not enjoy the feeling of that hook. Oh, man! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Done this once or twice, huh? Woo! How does it feel, like a black marlin? Feels like a shark. Oh, no. <laughs> you just gotta close your eyes and dream. Okay, this is a really big one. Ryan desperately wanted to fight a shark. <laughs> so I said, all right, buddy, I'll let you, I'll let you pull on her. Wanted to feel something pull back. Yeah. Now, what's stronger, this or a sailfish? Much, this is much stronger than a <laughs> sailfish. Here we go. It's a huge black tip. Oh my gosh. Big old black tip. It's gigantic. Nice. Beauty. Give Richie the rod, sure. and you get the tail rope. I'm so glad you get to feel the shark power, man. Woo! Yes! He loves it. This will no longer count as a world record because we passed the rod. Oh, yeah. dang it, you. <laughs> Throw it back Nothing you can do about it, bro. Uh, that was a nice one, though. Oh, I wanted to put a tail rope and get a nice photo. We came back to the dock here, guys, Tropic Star, and we see sailfish flags, we see some blue marlin flags, but I didn't see any other boats with a black tip flag. Now, Scallywag has to make a black tip flag. Come on now, come on. We need a black tip flag, bro. We caught four black tips, okay? Yes, we did. I bet you we caught more weight than anyone, any other boat. That are, say, that are done dots. That are done dots. Hey, hey, in terms of gross today. tonnage, hey, we did a good job. Today. 
<laughs> yeah, I love it, dude. I got some confidence back in my back, so I'm feeling good. Oh, good. No tech black Marlin. We got 10 more techs to burn through. We have two, we got 10 to go. Two more days. Two more days? Yeah, yeah. We can so do it. so tomorrow's awesome gotta be a stellar day, and today was epic because I caught four state record sized black tips in the state of Florida, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pumped yeah. about that. Oh no, they, they definitely are, and like you saw today, and for those of you who haven't caught them before, sharks fight extremely, extremely hard. Yeah. That's <laughs> I actually have a story for you. Ready? So I was at ICAST in 2015. Yeah. And Bill Dance, came, it's the first time I ever met Bill Dance, and I showed him my black tip footage. And he canceled all his meetings. He said, I'm, I'm gonna sit here and watch this. He's like, this is my favorite fish in the world to catch. Really? He said that wow. his favorite fish is a black tip shark. Oh man, yeah. he's like the godfather. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's, awesome. like, he's like the original TV fishing yeah. show guy. But that was that's his, awesome. his favorite fish to catch. So, that's cool. So, I'm, you gotta be proud of them, bro. No, we are, you know, big ones, hey, dude. you know, in fishing, you always have to go towards biting. You yeah. always have your targeted species, but you can make a really slow day, it's really fun, and that's exactly what we did today. And think about it, we, the last two sharks we caught, we were targeting them with a downrigger, and they ate and the black marlin surface. baits on the surface. <laughs> yeah. See? So it was, it was cool. meant to be. Yeah, and we, made, we had a really fun day. Guys, make sure you go to the Tropic Star Lodge. This place is amazing. The variety, the size of the fish. I mean, today we released, what, a 30 pound Dorado? We At released. Least. A 30 pound Dorado. Normally, yeah. like we said, 99% of fishermen are gonna take that gap and need it. But there are so many, there's fish busting right there. It's insane. <laughs> there's so many fish here. You guys gotta check it out. Tropic Star Lodge. Go in the description, check them out. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you also check out our Black to Beach products at blacktobeach.com. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Got it. Thank you. That is a big fish, man. Near the surface, here he is, right here, he's right here, he's right here, he's right here.